You are valid. You belong. You are included. You're not wrong. You're represented. You are seen. Diversity, equity. You are valid. You belong. You are included. You're not wrong. You're represented. You are seen. Die. Diversity, equity. I believe every word that man just said, because it's exactly what I wanted to hear. Yeah. Where I can really put myself in the work. That's why they call it business. But if that's wrong, I don't want to be right. It's all about finding your muse. My muse talks to me all the time. She whispers encouraging words in my ear like... Sandwich. Hello, beta testers. Maybe you've already seen it. The agenda push that Ubisoft and Disney are calling a video game with Star Wars The Ugly Strikes Back. Of course, I do not condone reaching out to or interacting with any of these identity-obsessed racists. Treat them like they're contagious. But, Shauna Jones, a community manager for the upcoming flop Star Wars Outlaws, who made an overwhelming amount of posts angry at white males, the apparent root of all her problems, recently deactivated their account before bringing it back up to say, Quote, I'm back, and I've decided I'm not going anywhere. The folk attacking me, using me to push their agenda, are not going to win this one. End quote. Because, I guess posting proof of the things you said before you hastily deleted it, realizing it looks and sounds bad, probably because a man told your stupid ass, because Sweet Baby did the same thing in the midst of their furious revisions of their site, when one of their employees was freaked out over a list of the games that they publicly made clear on their website, but I guess I could say, playing devil's advocate, that I'm using racism to fuel my tank informing customers because, as I love to reiterate, my voice would be just another lost in a sea of people you ignore because our feelings are not valid unless we agree and share your sentiment. Otherwise, we only matter if we pose a risk of bad optics. You don't need us for bad optics now. You can't blame people for what you're doing, and you need to stop calling people saying that they won't pay for ugly, dated, lazy slop. An agenda. Hostility towards the audience is exactly what puts Saints flop where it belongs. Community manager. The trash. I offer this same warning to Sushi Squad because I'm not illiterate to the writing on the wall. Since Star Wars community manager is so scared of their own fucking tweets, allow me to highlight a baffling display out of Volition's community manager back before Volition shut down because no one bought their game, of course. Because antagonizing fans was apparently necessary, hostile before the game even launched. Telling fans that they're not backing down. Look at this guy having to say he's, I'm not a hater. <laughs> this entity goes on to call fans terrorist and in a discord is ironically demonstrating who really is out of touch as it pertains to their product because only the brain damaged would argue with the customer about what they do and don't want because what that translates to is what they will and are not willing to pay for. Let's get a man in here if there's some kind of difficulty understanding this. Beta tester, like this video and comment and correct me below. Subscribe if you're not because I may just go up in smoke 
One of these days, your sentiment may not matter to the industry insiders and people with access to those fat cats, but they matter to me. I salute your organic returns to old games when new slop lands to send the message that you don't just reject the new, the other incarnations were better. Just as I've said, you're in an arcade and where you choose to spend your coins decides which cabinets stay and which go. You're voting with your wallet and you're seeing that you shouldn't pre-order. Not after this many times. Spread that message. Stellar Blade has gone gold and I celebrate and congratulate Studio Shift Up for bravely weathering the stupidity, hostility, and identity-obsessed, politically correct, mental asylum escapees pushing their fucking pronouns down the lane. It's a blessing to see unfazed people that are willing to stand up to a cult who is ruining Western media that people in America hate just as much as you do. Not the people, the politics, the forced identity politics. Put succinctly in this picture, can a character modeled after a real person's body be called unrealistic? No, it can't. But reality is not where the lonely, ugly, untalented grifters reside. So they must create a problem to sell the solution and gaslight you into reinforcing their delusion. I'm not their paid therapist. I will not reinforce their genjutsu. If you've seen me on Twitter, I can't even congratulate Shift Up without some cum gargler wiggling in between me and this AB fucking interaction I'm having. To hit me with some incorrect shit that they believe. They're on the internet and they can't live l l like Jesus Christ. They wish to be enveloped, cocooned by this ignorance. No matter how hard they force controversy, will only work in this game's favor and you better believe some things are going to change if something like Stellar Blade does well. They need your views for revenue and without your dollar they live in squalor. Let's get something straight. I welcome any tinfoil accusations because it helps me create more compelling evidence. I hope others learn to reinforce their points and honestly embrace whatever is thrown at them the way Rowling embraces turf, because I guess when buying a Hogwarts Legacy video game made me a T-phobe, so be it man. Do you guys think you could mock Magneto into taking his helmet off? Is he stupid? <laughs> Maybe a woke version of Magneto, you know what I mean? In time, that's all any of this is ever going to be, the woke versions of things. So calling someone ugly is not a racist statement when you're saying this person could be prettier for this role. For a movie, I congratulate anyone willing to admit that this will not sell the tickets that it could if they cast a Halle Berry in the role. They cast this person with the intent to generate conversation so they could then claim that it's racist and it's this particular brand of gaslighting that's really going to wind some people up, you know what I mean? I would like to stress. How many millions are thrown into the gutter with this forced, political, deliberately divisive crap? The amount of slaves dying every minute gathering materials for what makes these multi-million dollar productions possible is unfathomable. So the gaslighting that you've subjected these people to, these good people for a decade, you know, the most cool and collected among us, they're exploding in ways that ooh, are more calculated than you could imagine. And insane change is happening behind the scenes with people that have the time now. They're not being entertained. They're learning about AI. I've seen the message echoed over games in the anime industry with Disney very loudly right now. The message needs to be sent to this online connection necessary game as well that the industry that loudly denounces white men, heterosexuals, normal or what they call cisgender people with 
forced ugly, but of course specifically targeting the women, listen, you can enjoy dwindling sales. I'm proud that so many no longer feel so gaslit that they can't openly be real about the fact that these developers and designers must be able to do better. The East appears to be running circles around them. What's the difference? Oh, they're not choking on political correctness. This hasn't been the result of a lack of talent. It's been deliberate, a la Doris from Shrek. And if anyone's got an agenda, it's these gas lighters. Keep playing, though. I don't think you know how rough the job market is, but those of us looking for an escape that you're ruining, we do. You've used our art as a canvas to ruin, making your bitch-made statement and your protest in the gaming space, and we got you. At great personal risk, I sought to impress upon people, now beta testers, a pattern that I recognized. And now they will help others notice, too. If the noticing is what puts you out of a job, you were never good at it to begin with. The worlds that I once escaped to were a refuge that I owe my life to. And many people can say that they've had a book, a song, maybe some jokes, games that they've experienced that helped pick them up at their lowest and adjusted their gaze when they felt lost. But woke is compromising all that it touches with forced pandering and self inserts but it always had a time limit because no one cares and you'd need an endless flow of money to keep forcing it gaming's entities constantly limit my hobby my passion and i'm on their lists because my impact has been felt and i work alone can you imagine if I decided to change that? If I can get you to do me a favor in the comments, guys, just write your top two favorite characters that you think would be amazing uh, in Stellar Blade as a skin. You know, don't you feel you can write more if you want, but don't feel limited to what's probable to end up in the game as a collab. Just put like your dream. Imagine it's on PC right now and you can just have it modded in. It can be a video game character, movie, TV, real life person, anime character, any of that. Um, for me, it would be like Motoko from Ghost in the Shell, and probably Felicia from Darkstalkers. And I'm not into that, you know, but, you know, she just looks so, it's a good, it's a good, man, you know, come on, what the fuck, man? And maybe instead of the sword, she's just swiping her claws. right? <laughs> if these people cared as much as they said they do, they wouldn't invalidate the invested time from the short lives of people who are spending themselves on projects that these woke motherfuckers are just shooting in the foot right at the beginning of the race, shooting them in both foot. You have no chance. You don't even have two feet. You have both foot. Damn, woke. 